Brookfield, where school officials say some students can return to in-person learning later this month. Thanks for joining us here on this Monday at 4 o'clock. I'm Rob Zier along with Julie Bragg and Bree Season. Now, CBS 6 Cameron Thompson joins us now live where the school board just got the OK to do this. He has more. Cameron? Yeah, Rob, that OK came from the health committee that the school board picked to guide them on this issue of when they can start safely returning some students to in-person instruction. And as such, with this OK, on September 9th, the or 29th, rather, the first cohort of students or group of students will begin some in-person instruction. Now, that first cohort is comprised of special education level two students based off of their individualized education programs and at the top level that could be up to 1800 students assuming all parents want to send their kids back and if they did they would be instructions in person on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Wednesdays, Wednesdays would be virtual lessons while the schools are deep clean. Now the committee says the metrics that they have been watching that will guide them on this while some of them have increased slightly since the last time they looked at the data including cases per 100,000 and percent positivity. They say Chesterfield County is outperforming the rest of the region, so they feel confident in going forward. Now, here is Superintendent Dr. Mervyn Doherty on his feelings about the school decision starting to move forward with that first cohort, plus how they will allow parents to keep their children home if they don't feel comfortable about sending them to school quite yet. I'm excited. Uh, I think everybody is. You know, it's a pandemic that nobody's used to, uh, and everybody's working their way through it. But I do think that's a great opportunity to have some students come back who are really excited about coming back. And we do understand that there's two sides. A side that I would like my child to stay home, and there's a side that I'd like my child to come back to school. So we want to honor the parents and the students in both areas. Now, going forward, the health committee will look at the data every two weeks and make a decision on whether the next cohort can move forward with some in-person instruction. If there is no delay and the data doesn't say they need to slow down, then that last group or cohort should begin some in-person instruction by early to mid-November. Working for you in Chesterfield County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.